sketch the graph of y equals 2 times x minus 1 cubed times x plus 2 squared times x minus 3. Let's start by determining the easiest graphable characteristics, uh, which will be the roots in this factored format, as well as their multiplicities. So uh, the factor x minus 1 corresponds to a root at x equals 1. The factor x plus 2 corresponds to a root at x equals negative 2 and the factor x minus 3 corresponds to a root at x equals 3. Now the root at x equals 1 will have a multiplicity of 3, the root at x equals negative 2 will have a multiplicity of 2, and the root at x equals 3 will have a multiplicity of 1. So the odd multiplicity roots at 1 and 3 will see the plot cross through the x-axis at those roots. So at x equals 1 we expect the plot to cross through the axis. I'll draw a vertical tick to indicate that. And at x equals 3 we expect to see the same thing. So I'll draw another vertical tick. Now at x equals negative 2, we have an even multiplicity of 2, so we expect the plot to bounce off the axis. Um, so I'll draw a horizontal line there to show that the plot will not cross through the x-axis at that point. Okay, next let's determine the degree and the sign of the leading coefficient so we can figure out the end behavior. So the degree of this polynomial can be found by adding all the multiplicities of the factors. So we'll have 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is equal to 6, which is an even number. Note that you could also find it by adding the degrees of all the factors. Uh, if you wanted to write out um, explicitly all of the multiplications of each factor, so you'd have 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. So you could add the degrees of all the factors. You'd have a 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which would give you also 6. Okay, uh, now let's determine the sign of the leading coefficient. So we can determine that sign by multiplying the signs of the leading coefficients of all the factors. So the first factor, 2, is its own leading coefficient and has a positive sign, then the leading coefficient of the x minus 1 factor is positive as well. It's positive 1, and it'll appear three times since that factor is cubed. The leading coefficient of x plus 2 is also positive 1. It'll appear twice because that factor is squared, and the leading coefficient of x minus 3 is also 1. It just appears once. So we have a whole bunch of positives. Their product is also going to be positive. Okay, so since we know that the degree is even and the sign of the leading coefficient is positive, we know that this polynomial, or the graph of this polynomial, will open up. In other words, it'll start up and end up, like so. Okay, lastly, we need to determine the y-intercept. So in this case, I recommend setting all the x's to zero. Don't just multiply the constant terms unless you remember the exponents. Um, yeah, if you want to multiply the constant terms, just make sure that you remember the exponents. But what I'm going to do is set all the x's to 0, and you'll see how that gets us the y-intercept. We'll have 0 minus 1 cubed times 0 plus 2 squared times 0 minus 3. This will give us 2 times minus 1 cubed times 2 squared times negative 3. So 2 times negative 1 cubed is going to give us negative 2, and then 2 squared is 4. We still have that negative 3. So we have negative 2 times 4 times negative 3. Uh, 4 times negative 3 gives us negative 12 times negative 2 gives us positive 24. So our y-intercept will be at y equals positive 24, which is right about here on our plot. Okay, uh, with that we have everything we need to begin sketching the plot of this polynomial. So it's going to start up, and then come down to touch the x-axis at uh, x equals negative 2, but not go through, so it'll bounce off here. Um, it's likely going to get pretty steep, and I reckon it'll go above the y-intercept before coming back down through the y-intercept like so, and then cross through the x-axis at uh, positive 1. Uh, keep in mind that, that multiplicity is 3, so the graph will probably flatten out a little bit before coming through 
the x-axis there. So it might appear a little flat like that before crossing through. And then it'll probably bottom out somewhere around here, come back up, cross through this route, and end up. Okay, um, you may not get this on your own, um, seeing that the peak of the graph happens before the y-intercept. It might also happen after the y-intercept. There's not much that you can do to determine this without knowing uh, some more calculus. So if your sketch looks something like this, um, aka you have the end behavior correct, it starts up and ends up, uh, you have all of the roots correct, and you have the behavior correct around them due to their multiplicities. So here you see a bounce, here you see a flatten out before crossing through the axis, and here you see the plot just going straight through since this root has a multiplicity of one, and you also have the correct y-intercept, then you've done a good job. So as long as your sketch has those characteristics, you should give yourself the mark. Okay, that's all for this video.